This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, December the 13th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. And before I forget it, let's look at the storm reports. We had a number of tornadoes, at least two tornadoes in East Texas uh, yesterday with a number of uh, wind reports as well as some hail. That storm system is beginning to kick out of the Central Plains states and will be moving up into the Great Lakes today. And uh, as it does, we've got a number of winter weather advisories, all the purple, pink, and uh, aqua colors over the Rockies. And across the lower Mississippi River Valley, the greens are flash flood watches. Those uh, kind of uh, deep red colors are flash flood warnings. And then the brown are actually wind advisories, most of those for today and uh, tonight and into early uh, Monday. In the upper atmosphere, we have this closed low that's coming out of the Four Corners area. That will be uh, ejecting across the central plains into the Great Lakes area as the ridge be holds somewhat steady uh, over the eastern part of the country. Temperatures across central Alabama this morning generally still quite mild with readings ranging from the upper 50s to the lower 60s. Typically we ought to be seeing lows around 37, so most areas on the order of a good uh, 20 degrees above our seasonal values. Radar was completely clear yesterday, but today we're seeing a good deal of rain out to our west. That rain should come into our area uh, later tonight and into early Monday. On the quantitative precipitation forecast, the five days, which will encompass both of our rain events, it looks like we could get on the order of one to two inches total between the two events. Looks like probably around an inch uh, to an inch and a quarter with the first event and around a half inch or so with the second event. Storm Prediction Center uh, is only ha has a marginal risk along the uh, Central Gulf Coast of Louisiana and part of uh, southeast Texas. For day two, just some thunderstorms in both the east and western parts of the United States. And then on uh, day three, we have uh, some thunderstorms possible over Florida and the uh, southeast portions of Texas and parts of Louisiana. All right, let's take a look at the 06Z GFS model run. And there's our surface low with the front across Texas that is uh, beginning to move out. We're under high pressure, and you notice that as the low is moving to the northeast and the high pressure is not moving much out into the Atlantic, we're tightening the pressure gradient, and that's why we have wind advisories in effect for later today across central and north Alabama with southerly winds at uh, 15 to 25 miles an hour with gusts to 35 possible. By Monday at midday, we see that the low is approaching the uh, Great Lakes area and the front is moving through central Alabama. So let's take a look at some uh, specifics there. And we do have the Cape values. Once again, it looks like our Cape values are down. That is, they're not really high. Uh, shear values, and I don't have a chart for shear values, remain high. So it's one of these things with low instability uh, and relatively substantial shear values. So we'll have to definitely watch, but it looks like the risk of severe weather is rather low. The uh, Using the NAM, uh, giving us some idea of when the precipitation arrives, it looks like uh, the precip should arrive around midnight on the Alabama-Mississippi border. And by 18Z on Monday or uh, at noon on Monday, it sh most of the rain should be exiting eastern Alabama. Precip-wise, uh, again at uh, midnight uh, tonight, it looks like the rain will just barely be inching into Alabama, then uh, through 12Z, we see the six-hour rainfall on the order of, and then the final amounts uh, for the last six hours on the order of uh, a quarter to a half inch. All right, getting back to our regular maps, uh, the upper air uh, chart for Monday shows that uh, trough moving by with a closed low in the vicinity of Chicago. I mean, Tuesday, we come back under a ridge very quickly and uh, that ridge stays with us uh, into the first part of Wednesday. But another system close on the heels of the first system uh, is moving through the Great Lakes, and that will drag another cold front down into our area. It does look like there's some question as to how much moisture will return prior to the front arriving. So rainfall amounts right now a little uncertain on exactly how much rain we're going to see because we're not really comfortable with exactly how much moisture is returning. But it does look like we should see some rain uh, potentially Wednesday evening and into early Thursday. Thursday, uh, the overall pattern begins to become more of a broad trough over the eastern half of the country, and that will usher in some colder air. But the front should be moving by by the midday on Thursday. So once again, we should be clearing out for the latter part of the day. 
Friday, we see the upper air pattern, more of a trough over the eastern part of the country with a good northwesterly fetch all the way from central Canada down into the southeastern U.S., so that should cool us off quite a bit. Saturday, that uh, overall broad trough is along the east coast, so we stay cool. And then by Sunday, we begin to show the warm-up as we see the upper air pattern going into a broad ridge over the eastern half of the country as the trough moves out into the Atlantic. But it looks like we stay busy in the weather office uh, the 22nd of December. We see another trough coming across the central U.S., so that uh, portends another potential weather system for us. Take an intermediate time. We have a ridge on the 25th, so it looks like Christmas Day should be a rather nice day across central and north Alabama. And then another really low latitude, closed low, comes out of the southwestern United States around the 27th. This one certainly has the looks of a, another potential in the way of severe weather uh, across uh, the lower Mississippi River Valley, so we'll be watching that. And that one is followed by another one around the 29th. So as I say, no rest for the weather department. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this edition. James Spann should be back with the next edition first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, I encourage everybody to do a random act of kindness today and it's part of the season. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day and Godspeed.